Hello, and welcome to today's tutorial on World Edit. This plugin is featured in Server Maker for MCPE. Let's get started. Today we're going to go over the basic features and commands on how to do the, the easy commands for World Edit. Uh, a lot of people are kind of confused as to how to start it off. So really quick, we're going to get into this. We're going to use some color coordination for you guys so you guys can understand what's going on when we place these blocks. And to pull up the list, it's really easy. You're just going to do forward slash forward slash, and that actually just right away is going to pull up the first page of those commands. Uh, so you got anchor, cuboid, solenoid, uh, sphere, and position one. So then we can go into here again, um, and we'll bring up page two. And page two just gives you position two. Okay. Um, so really, what we're going to go through today is position one and position two. There's a few other little things you can do once you have uh, selected an actual area or a grid. They'll allow you to do one more command, which is a replace. So we'll, we'll show you what that is in a second as well. So really quick, what you're going to want to do, we're going to start off with the first command. It's going to be position one. So we'll do green to start. Okay, so now you're going to want to select your area. So I'm just going to go with a, let's do three high here. Okay, we'll switch that up. So this is going to be our second position. Okay, so we want to be three high. So I'll explain why I'm only putting two there. All right, so where this green block is, you're going to want that to be the floor. So what we're going to do is originally we're going to break that block, and this is where we're going to want to stand. You're going to come into your chat bar. You're going to do forward slash forward slash POS1. Okay, and when you do that, it's going to say the first position has been selected. So now that we've done that, we're selected. This is where we were standing, right? Remember that? That was our spot. Okay, so then we're going to come over here, and we're going to stand on this because we want it to be three high. So if we stand on this one here, and we do forward slash forward slash POS2, and then we hit enter, that's going to go ahead and select the second set of coordinates that we wanted, which is going to be right here, but technically it's the third block. Remember, we broke that though. So let's step back here. Now, for the final part of this command, you're going to go in here, you're going to do forward forward slash set. Now, set is going to place what you're asking for. Uh, now, another thing is with this, you're going to have to know the item ID for the block that you want because it doesn't work by name anymore. You actually have to give it a, a specific number so that the, the game registers that code. So, for example, uh, let's do, we'll do Bedrock just to show you that what we can do. All right, so set 7. And that should be it. So as you see, oh, we moved our green block in too far. So, but from the floor to three high, one, two, three, that's what we've just created, okay? So that's how you do that. You can create anything. Now you have, once you have a block ID number, you can put any block you want there. It doesn't matter. Any block that you know of, it can go down. Now for the same thing, for example, you want to delete this. So we're going to come over here. We're going to stand exactly where I told you on that third block because we want to get rid of the, this layer here as well. Okay, so let's stand on this block. We're going to do forward slash forward slash POS1. Okay, and then that's going to select that one again. And now we're going to come over here. And we're going to do this. We're going to want to stand on that spot again. And then we're going to come here. We're going to do forward slash forward slash POS2. And that's going to select that. And then we're going to go back to forward slash forward slash. And we're going to do set and zero represents error. So now we're going to do that. And there we go. Now it's completely deleted our little box that we've created over here. So like I said, it's really easy to do those. Not too bad, not too hard at all. Now say you've got a bunch of dirt on your 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 world somewhere. Okay, some kids were making a mess. And you just, you know, you don't want to spend all day cleaning up dirt. Well, what you can do is you can come over here and you can select this block. Hey, you know what? We just do it like this. We won't even touch anything. We'll do forward slash forward slash POS1. Okay, and then we'll just come over here. And we're going to do forward slash forward slash POS2. Now it's going to select everything on the ground level that I'm standing near. You know, that whatever's in that little square that it just made around it. And we're going to do forward slash forward slash replace. Okay, you can do this with anything. All you got to do is know the block that it is, that you're, the block that you're going to change it to. So we're going from dirt 
which is three, and we're gonna change it into grass, which is two. So we're gonna hit okay, and there you go. Now you can see we've just replaced all that dirt with you know fresh green grass. Really easy to do, it's with replace. Like I said, the POS one, POS two, it's all about where you're doing it. Make sure if you're gonna do it anywhere, you start you know in one corner down and on the floor, and then you start, you know, go as high as you needed to go. Make sure you, you, you compensate for those those factors. Because if you just build it here, here to here, you're only going to get a straight line, okay? You don't want just a straight line. If you build it from here, from that left side to just back here, you're only going to get the ground floor, only these bottom blocks. You'll only get right here. You won't be able any higher protected, so anybody can break a window or whatever they want. So definitely make sure you go to the height that you need it to be, and then you do your POS2, create, and, you know, it's really it's really pretty much your set. It's, it's, it's pretty much easy from there. You just do your set, whatever you want it to be, or you could hit zero and erase it all, completely take it out. For example, we'll just do this whole little, whole little box that I got going. So we'll do forward slash forward slash POS1. We'll select here. Something wasn't right. Okay, there's that one. Now remember I told you I want to come up here and do all these as well. So this block's on the outside. So we're not going to get that block if I stand on top of it. So let's go right here. Do forward slash forward slash POS2. We'll select that. Now if you're keeping an eye on this, it will move back a little bit so you can see. All right. Actually, here, let's move it that way a little bit better for you. That way you can actually see what's going on. Okay, so let's do forward slash, forward slash, set, zero. And there we go. All gone. So that's pretty easy. That's that it, you know, for the commands really on how to actually use it and replace it. It's more of looking up those item ID numbers so that you can place the blocks that I think are the trickiest part. Uh, but in all reality, it's not that bad, not that hard. Now, there are other few other options that you can do, which is like make a circle or, you know, a cylinder, I should say, or a sphere. I don't have very much good practice with those yet, so I'm not going to, you know, demonstrate those. Maybe later on in a, another tutorial, I'll, I'll bring those up. But they are an option. Uh, all you'd have to do is pretty much go in, same concept, uh, forward slash slash sphere, and then you would do... The block that you want it so 20 represents glass and then you'd want to put in the radius um, so for example let's see well maybe we'll do a two okay we'll see what that does oh no it didn't form an action right okay sphere maybe we could do glass we'll type it in that way and we'll do two Okay, so as you see, it's selected a sphere centered at these coordinate points in the world with a radius of zero, though. Uh, I'm pretty sure I put something more than that. Well, it gave me zero radius, so you see it didn't give me anything. So I'm not sure why exactly it set that up that way. But uh, that's pretty much how you do it. Like I said, I don't have much experience with those. I, I don't mess with that very often. I just use it for the... The, the basic command ones and, and running the, like the replacements. So if you guys need any more hit, hints and tips on this, I will definitely try to get a second tutorial to you guys for the remainder of that plugin. Uh, but until then, definitely leave a like and some comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay chill. Later.